the empire which came to be known as Mali originated from the little Malinke kingdom called Kangaba. The kingdom evolved from the unification of a number of small villages known as the Dugu and ruled by a local chieftain called Dugutigi. The unification was the work of the chief of the Keitax clan, who thus established the Keita dynasty of Kangaba. It is likely that the fusion of the villages was motivated by the desire to present a united front against external enemies and to participate more profitably in the trans iron trade. The early kings of Kangaba are not known to history. However, according to Shei Utman, a Muslim writer, the first king of Kangaba to be converted to Islam about the middle of the 11th century was Baramundana, around 1050 AD. He is said to have made a pilgrimage to Mecca, and this practice was faithfully followed by his successors. Unlike Ghana, Mali became a Muslim state from the very early stage of its existence as a kingdom. Following the unification of the villages, the small kingdom of Kangaba grew steadily more powerful. By the early decades of the 13th century, its growing influence aroused the jealousy and hostility of Sumanguru, the king of the emergent kingdom of Kanyaga. After capturing Ghana in 1203 AD, he turned his attention to Kangaba and in 1224 AD, he conquered and annexed it. He drove Naf Margan, the reigning Keita king, into exile and killed all the sons of the royal family, sparing only two. The cripple Marijata, later known as Sundayata, and his half brother Dankara Tuma, who was installed king of the Fasa state. About the age of seven, Sundata recovered the use of his leg and developed into a courageous youth, remarkable as a great soldier and athlete. His popularity among the people earned him the jealousy of Dankara Tuma, who began to plan to assassinate him. Sundata consequently fled into exile with his mother, Sogolo. Meanwhile, Sumanguru's brutal and oppressive rule had resulted in rebellion among the Kangaba people. In a terrible reprisal, Sumanguru once again overran Kangaba and the reigning king, Dankara Tuma, fled into exile. In 1238, Sandayata Keita was recalled by his people and ascended the throne of the Kangaba. Sundata Keita saw his primary task as that of regaining the independence of his Maninke kingdom of Kangamba from the Susu. To achieve this, he mobilized an army of archers and cavalrymen from Kangamba, a neighboring state still subject to the Susu king of Kanyaga. With his powerful army and the notion that he was now the liberator of his people, all ran into support to him. And in 1235 AD, at the Battle of Purina, he decisively defeated Sumanguru Kante and then marched what was left of Ghana to Kangaba, which led to the rise of Mali Empire. The Mali Empire stretched from Dekro on the Atlantic coast to the Great Niger Bend in the east, and from the Sahara Desert in the north to the forest country of the Morsi in the south. Sandata Keita victory and consolidation of the Empire of Mali, above all, was due to his admirable qualities as a soldier, leader, and astute diplomat. Thank you for watching this episode. Stay tuned as we bring you more from Time in Memory. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, likes, and comments.